that you guys thought I forgot, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't forget. I just, it has been a very long day and the kids and I folded Mount Laundry and I fell asleep. It took like an hour long nap and it was glorious. And I just wanted to say bless my sweet husband's heart. He's decided to go into um, the old house himself and finish patching things up that need to be patched. There's really not that much. It's like a couple little holes that need to be like where he patched that need to be painted and um, some stupid little things. So he's like, I'll just go. I'll just go and then we'll go pick up my blazer tomorrow. So thank God because <laughs> I didn't want to go over there today. But anyway, without further ado, here's our homestead. So here's kind of like the general layout. We have a lot of work to do. Lots of weeds to pick, as you can tell. Um, trees we need to clear out and bushes to take down and trash to throw out. But we're a work in progress. I mean, we're only a weekend and I feel like we're so much further along than I thought we would be. So. Let me go show you how things are going to go. Let's start over here. So, I hope. So this little area, I'm not really sure what she was doing with this. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Maybe like a little like garden, like sitting area. Maybe turn it into something pretty since this ugly freaking Dorothy shelter is here. Um... If you guys have never seen what the inside of one of these looks like, now you know. We can fit our whole family down there, plus the dogs, plus goats, plus rabbits, plus whatever the heck we have. So, it's a pretty big space. So, take a little walk this way. These are the little things that I was talking about that we're probably going to clear out. Well, I know we're going to clear out, like, none of these plants or anything crazy important. So we're going to clear all of that out. Um, our property line is basically the tree line. Um, I found right there underneath that pine tree, um, what I believe and what my friends believe are wild blackberries under that tree. Um, there's only a couple, but it's pretty cool. Uh, over there where like the dirt kind of starts way over there, that's where our neighbor's um, property line is at in the end of ours. And we always see the deer over in that area. There's little hoof prints everywhere. And all of that belongs to the neighbor that lives back in the woods back there. And we're hoping that maybe one day he will let us either buy an acre going that way or maybe an acre going into the woods. So we'll see. There's that dragonfly I was telling you guys about how I always, I was seeing dragonflies like crazy. Maybe it was the same one, maybe it was a different one, but out here there's a dragonfly there, and then I'll show you uh, when we get inside where the dragonfly is at on the inside. Over here is like, so we're talking about putting the chickens in this area because there's grass and Whatnot. I don't like it being so far from the house, but we do have our blink security cameras on the property. Ryan has one saved specifically for the chicken coop. So um, they might be okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think I might have Ryan talked into putting them at least right here because if they're here, I can kind of see them from my office. So, um, so that would be cool to be able to at least see them during the day. But that shed down there is ours. Uh, it's nice and big. It would be perfect for a coop. Um, we have to use at least half of it for like lawn supplies and things like that. Lawnmower. Uh, oh my gosh, weed whacker, all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, our property line, obviously, all the way down to the street. And the other half of the shed um, we can probably use for... Uh, chicken stuff and like feed and things like that. Um, moving forward, this space, this space, 
and this space um, are going to be my garden. Now, I was going to put the garden out there, but Ryan suggested that I put it here because it's the hill goes this way. So any water runoff, things like that, naturally are going to roll down this hill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this bush, these fake funky, funny looking rocks, um, that bush, uh, that one right there. I think I already pointed at this one, but this ugly thing. Um, we're gonna leave this tree Obviously, we'll leave that tree. We're going to leave all the trees. The trees are going to stay. Um, but that whoop, that whole flat spot down there will be garden area, too. And I think that's where I'm going to do, like, flowers and things like that. As well as over here. Oh, did you decide to join us? All right. So, this bush will go... And we'll have, like, you can kind of see where the water runs off down the hill as it is anyway. So, that'll help. I love these trees, you guys. I have never seen one of these before in my life, but... Sorry, I'm, like, kind of all over the place that that bush is going to go to. But my hammock, this is just, like, a perfect spot for the hammock. But look at this canopy that this thing gives off. Like, holy crap. There's the hammock view. So pretty, so peaceful. So here, this area, I think I wanna do a little, like a flower garden too. Maybe like a water fountain in the corner. Um, there's a spigot right over there, so it would be perfect. Um, either that or like our hydroponic stuff. I don't know if we're gonna do it over here, we're going to do it on the other side of the house. But um, ultimately, this is all ours too. Neighbor's house over there. He's such a sweet guy. i got to trim all this down. Oh my goodness. Our covered porch. Where we can sit out and have coffee and all that. Ryan has plans to take this deck and wrap it all the way around keep going that way I think that's maybe what they wanted to do but then they just never got to it so eventually we'll have a deck this area here we are that tree is going to come out and these dead guys are going to come out too um, but this area here is going to be probably down to that picket fencing um, we're going to fence this off and this is going to be the dog's backyard because our dogs are Arizona dogs and they are used to not having a, um, or they're used to having a fence and knowing their boundaries, it, you know, is that fence and yeah, there's no fencing out here that can keep them in. So, um, I'm sorry, I keep sniffling. You guys, my allergies are just something else today. So I've just been kind of keeping my pots right here. My strawberries are just like, I cannot believe how well they are doing. I mean, they're just like taking off. There's just so many. My poor basil, it's having a day today. It really is. I think I need to give it some more water, but it's it's having a day today after looking so good for so long. But anyway, let's go inside. So as most of you know, um, I do work full time, but I work from home. And I have always wanted a house that could make me feel like I'm working outside. So when I saw this room, when we first visited the house, I knew exactly what I was going to turn it into. So this is my office slash yoga room. And for those wondering, yes, it does get kind of toasty in here from about three o'clock until about 
five thirty, and and then the sun goes that direction, and uh, still getting used to my cardinal directions out here. <laughs> um, but the sun goes over there and and uh, takes the strain off of this room. So, but we do have the AC unit that helps out quite a bit with that, and the beautiful ceiling fan. And those beams, I'm just in love with those beams, you guys. All right, so, kitchen. Hello, you guys. You make coming inside so difficult. So, here's our kitchen. Um, right now, uh, we have a home warranty that came with the purchase of the house. So our fridge is not cooling. The freezer is keeping things frozen. Um, and then the oven, the oven, um, we're thinking it's the coil, the ignition coil um, that is not working. So right now for a fridge, thank God, we found Ryan's uh, mini fridge that had been down in the basement at the other house for the last year. Hey, cake eater, what are you doing? <laughs> but that thing has come in handy to store like our eggs and um, milk and, and things like that. My beautiful sign made by my friend Kiri, my housewarming present um, before I moved out here. And then got all this. So because the oven hasn't been working, remember I told you guys in my stories the other day that I got this lovely air fryer. Super excited about it. Um, but we're not used to having so much freaking storage. And so it's just really nice to have all this room. And eventually we'll do the entire, um, we'll do the entire kitchen in that butcher block because I just love it. It's so cute. You can kind of see where our boxes are hanging out, but this room, is going to be like a sitting room slash reading game art room um, we're gonna put like a little sofa in here um, some bookshelves on each side I'm gonna move those lanterns but bookshelves on each side and um, just this is just gonna be the relaxing room I just like come rejuvenate fill your cup type room and there won't be any boxes Moving on, one thing we did not realize when we looked at this house the first time or the second time is that there is no light in here and there's no ceiling fan. So we're gonna have to install that. Um, it's very well lit during the day, but as you can see at night, even with the light from here and the light from over there, it's still pretty dark, but I cannot wait to use the fireplace in the winter and um, cake. Quit being gross. And um, yeah, I just cannot wait. Cannot wait to use that. You're gross. I still got a bunch of stuff to unpack, but there's the guest bathroom. Front porch. Oh, come on. Kids have a nice size bathroom. I don't know if you remember the other bathroom that we all had to share at the old house, you guys, but this is a massive upgrade and, the, and it all belongs to the kids. Teenager's room. They're going over school supply lists, but their rooms are pretty decent size. And her closet's a mess, but there's Maddie's closet. Full walk-in closet. I'm excited for them that they have this space. Say hi, Brudy. <laughs> you coming? Probably. Moving on to Megan's room. She stole her dad's patch. Oh boy. Moving on to Megan's room. The teenager got a hold of Megan's room and decorated it, but 
Still a work in progress. Gonna get some storage for their stuffed animals, but again, another amazing walk-in closet. This is Ryan's workspace. So, I am super excited. He's kind of got like home base over there with his computer and all of his stuff. And then like his work, actual workspaces is over there. He also has an AC unit in here and it actually cools better than the AC unit in my office. I'm kind of jealous, but he has worked so hard on this the last couple of days. Give him another day. He will probably have this whole thing situated to exactly how he wants it. So. I'm super excited for him to have this whole space. I cannot tell you guys how exciting it is to have our bedroom and my desk not be in here. So pretty much ever since I started working at home, my office has always been in our bedroom. And I've always just felt like I can't clock myself out from work. Like I just can't. And because my desk is just sitting there in, in our room. And uh, thankfully now I don't have to worry about that anymore. And I have this whole space along with our own walk-in closet. And all this space. And I just, I'm, I'm so thrilled with it. It's such a game changer for my mental health. bathroom you guys you remember the small little bathroom in my old house that was like that I told you it used to be a closet that the landlord very well I might add turned into a bathroom but I could not go into that bathroom without bumping into something guess what I can turn completely around in here and I don't bump into anything it's glorious um Jetted tub. Those of you who watch my stories know that I clean this really well. The jets do work. I cannot wait to take my first bath in there. But we also have this giant linen closet. I mean, I know people have bigger linen closets, but like this is huge for us, you guys. We've never had something like this. Not even at the house in AJ. Like our closet was in our bathroom. Our walk in closet was in our bathroom, but we've never had a linen closet specific to our bathroom. So it's such a big deal. Um, Walk-in shower. This thing was covered in rust the other day and I just jumped right on that and cleaned the crap out of it. Um, but I'm super, super excited. We gotta get a new shower head because that one is super, it's lacking in the pressure department. So taking a shower in the shower, you feel like you don't get anything accomplished like it takes me forever to wash my hair because I have so much of it but anyway moving on um I told you guys there were more dragonflies in the house cute little towel hangers towel rack dragonflies it's so weird but anyway yeah you guys that is that is the house and I'm super super excited to get to it shared it with you guys and um I didn't think I was gonna get to do this but like I said because it's just been a day but Ryan went to the house himself and um he'll be back later tonight after patching up a few things and after tonight we are completely free of that old house and we don't have to worry about it anymore so we can 100% focus on this place but I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Comments below. And um, remember, things, you know, Instagram makes life seem so perfect, but our family is just one tent away from being a full blown circus. So, <laughs> uh, have a good rest of your Sunday night, you guys. We'll check in later.